Hello and welcome to a super new episode of Pale Blue Thoughts. Water is one of the most important chemicals that we need to survive after perhaps oxygen. Accessibility to hygienic drinking water is one of the most important achievements that humans have ever made. Today, when we open our taps, we get access to clean drinking water in all of the developed countries. But in underdeveloped countries or developing countries such as ours, this is still a distant dream. In fact, in many parts of the country, people, mainly women mind you, still travel for miles to get this elixir of life. In many parts of rural India, access to clean, safe drinking water is still next to impossible. It is in such a scenario that people who are fortunate to be living in societies where they get fresh water anytime they open a tap, many feel it isn't good enough. Those privileged now want more. They are now looking at raw water, alkaline water, hydrogenated water and water with more oxygen. And marketing companies are ready to reap the benefits of this by providing what the customers want. After all, water is relatively free. Just take some of it and convince someone who is willing to spend a lot of money on some fancy fad and provide the same thing at an extra cost. What is more profitable than that? Just like organic farming, special water is just another fancy money-burning formula that people often fall into. And when you have super pseudo-scientific gurus with multiple salutations in front of their names spreading the same misinformation, the lakhs of people who watch these videos just fall for the scam. So today, let us look at the so-called benefits of alkaline water as endorsed by the Australia Baba. So what is this alkaline water? For that, let us recap what pH value and what is an acid and an alkaline first. In chemistry, pH denotes the potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen. It is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution. It ranges between 1 to 14, although there are instances where it can be breached under specific conditions. At 25 degrees centigrade, solutions with a pH less than 7 are acidic and solutions with a pH greater than 7 are basic or alkaline. Solutions with a pH of 7 at this temperature are neutral, for example, pure water. The pH value can be less than 0 for very strong acids or greater than 14 for very strong bases. So coming back to water. Pure water is neutral. When an acid is dissolved in water, the pH will be less than 7 at 25 degrees centigrade. When a base or alkali is dissolved in water, the pH will be greater than 7. With me so far? This is secondary school chemistry of course, but it's always good to understand the basics before we continue. So the master guru explains in one of his videos the process of making alkaline water. I cannot show the video here as the social media team of the guru would put out a copyright strike and make YouTube remove this video. But I can explain what he talks about and if you really want, I mean if you really really want, you can search for the video on YouTube and watch it. So the master chef, sorry, master guru says this. The food that we eat are acidic in nature, so to neutralize its acidic effects, we should eat more alkaline food. So you should consume alkaline water daily on an empty stomach as soon as you wake up. Okay, so how do you make alkaline water? Add 4 cucumbers and 2 slices of lemon into a jug of water and keep it overnight. The next morning, it turns into alkaline water. This is supposed to be very healthy. Okay, so what are you supposed to add to water? Cucumber, sorry, kakdi or Armenian cucumber. Fine. Now what is the pH value of cucumber? 5.12 to 5.78. Next are lemons. pH value please? This should be easy as even 5 year olds can tell you lemon is basically citric acid and its pH value is between 2 and 3. So you are adding 2 acidic substances to a pH neutral water and you get alkaline water. <laughs> 
no wonder such people get double salutations they deserve it free free for the pseudo scientific gyan that they spread <laughs> now let us leave such gyani babas and come to simple marketing so what is this alkaline water it is basically just normal water treated to have a ph between 8 and 10 usually 9.5 they are supposed to turn your body from acidic to alkaline in nature thereby enhancing your health alkaline water is getting popular in many developed nations such as the us and the eu and if people keep listening to such pseudo scientific gurus then the day will be near when we indians would also be running behind this alkaline water it is also called kangen water as marketed by a japanese company called enagic which claims that it has been in use in japan for the last 40 years to help restore the body to its original alkaline state they also claim that their machine can transform your ordinary tap water into healthy fresh tasting alkaline drinking water and claims a lot of health benefits like being rich in antioxidants and removal of free radicals etc the water ionizer costs anything between 2 lakhs to 4 lakhs which is not cheap at all but in india alkaline water is being touted as the new wonder drug which cures everything from normal acidity prevent diseases like osteoporosis or bone loss to even fourth stage cancer of course in india we tend to overhype things right it is in our alkaline blood yet another video claims that you need to sit in the indian toilet position while consuming this alkaline water for best results <laughs> और मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ मिनरल वाटर उसके बाद अल्कलाइन वाटर और इसको फिर मैजिक वाटर बनाने का तरीका और मैं हूँ आचार्य मनीष मेरे साथ डॉक्टर अवधेश पांडे जो एमबीबीएस एमडी हैं इस पानी को जब हमने ले लिया तो ये जो चीजें आप देख रहे हो गाजर खीरा नींबू अदरक मिर्च धनिया पुदीना और आंवला इन्हीं के जो भी इनके पीसीस बड़े बड़े हैं काट के हमने इसमें दो दो तीन तीन पीस डाल दिए ये तुलसी के पत्ते डाल दिए ये इसमें अदरक मैंने इसमें डाल दिए और ये इसमें मैंने धनिया पुदीना अब इसमें दो मिर्चें डाल दी अब ये पानी हमारा एल्कलाइन वाटर बन रहा है अब इसको मैजिक वाटर बनाना है तो जब इसको पड़े हुए छह घंटे जब ये छह घंटे पड़े हुए हो गए उसके बाद इसमें डालने हैं आंवले के तीन या चार टुकड़े अब यह बनेगा मैजिक वाटर कैंसर लीवर फेल किडनी फेल ऑटो इम्यून डिजीज इन सब में यह पानी रामबाण काम करेगा इस तरह बिल्कुल नीचे नीचे बैठे आप उकड़ू बैठ के जैसे इंडियन टॉयलेट वाला स्टाइल है इस तरह तो कैंसर स्टेज फोर कैंसर ऑटो इम्यून डिजीज लीवर फेल किडनी फेल इन सब में ये रामबाण काम करेगा और ये हिम्स हॉस्पिटल चंडीगढ़ में जहां हम इस टाइम हैं यहां पूरे भारत से लीवर फेल के किडनी फेल के स्टेज फोर कैंसर के ऑटो इम्यून डिजीज के पेशेंट आ रहे हैं डॉक्टर साहब खुद न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन के डॉक्टर हैं स्टेज फोर कैंसर के पेशेंट के तीन पेशेंट हो चुके हैं हमारे पास पिछले चार महीनों की रिपोर्ट भी नेगेटिव आ चुकी है नॉर्मल आ चुकी है मतलब नॉर्मल रिपोर्ट आ चुकी है और इकसठ पेशेंट किडनी फेल के हैं जिनका डायलिसिस पूरी तरह बंद हो चुका है जो दुनिया में अपनी तरह से पहली बार हुआ है जी तो हम यही तरीके से छोटे छोटे साइंटिफिक तरीकों से कैसे डिजीजेस को रिवर्स करना है वो हम कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे और ये अल्कलाइन वाटर उसका मैजिक वाटर दैट इज उसका एक बहुत बड़ा जरिया है and if you just put in a picture of a celebrity and claim that the indian cricket team's fielding ability has increased due to drinking this alkaline water people are sure to make a beeline for this of course if you search for kangen water on youtube you will see many youtubers have already started praising the health effects of this alkaline water there is no dearth for pseudo scientific videos on youtube as we have seen many times so far so now it's time to investigate all the claims made by the gurus with double salutations pseudo scientific youtubers and doctors from hiims which is basically a hospital and institute of integrated medical systems such as naturopathy ayurveda and homeopathy should i say anything more needless right so let us debunk these one by one with proper scientific studies as we do always first things first Science doesn't back this miracle drink with any studies that has been concluded so far. The claim is based on an age-old idea called the acid ash hypothesis. The acid ash hypothesis is a medical hypothesis which suggests that excessively acidic diets may result in a number of health problems. According to the hypothesis, acid ash is produced by meat, poultry, cheese, fish, eggs and grains. 
alkaline ash is produced by fruits and vegetables. Yeah, our health guru did say a bit about this. Recent systematic reviews have been published which have methodically analyzed the weight of available scientific evidence and have found no significant evidence to support the acid ash hypothesis in regards to prevention of osteoporosis or any disease for that matter. There is no conclusive evidence for this hypothesis. So any claims that any special diet or beverage such as alkaline water will raise the bodily pH is just a myth. I will explain why in detail. Humans does not have one pH value. Several parts of the body has different pH values. For example, the human blood has a pH value of 7.365 or 7.4. Muscles are a bit more towards the acidic side with a pH of about 6.1. And it is not possible to change these numbers with what you eat or drink. The body has its own system to regulate bodily pH and the range of pH where human cells work well is really narrow. So big swings in either direction can cause damage to your organs and can even be fatal. So as part of evolution, we have developed systems in place to keep the acid-base levels in the body balanced. So how does the body do this? If there is an increase of acidity in the body, then the body will try to get rid of one of the most common acid forming chemical, carbon dioxide. This is done simply by breathing a little extra, that is rapid breathing. Rapid breathing to the point where the body eliminates more carbon dioxide, something which we call as hyperventilation. This leads to hypocapnia, a reduced concentration of carbon dioxide dissolved in the blood. Other parts of the body also regulate acidity at a local level. They do this by rejecting whatever they don't need into the blood and asking the excretion system for their disposal. So, the most important organ which regulates this are your kidneys. Your kidneys are responsible for cleaning any excess constituents in your blood and chuck it into the urine as part of the body's natural excretion process. So there is evidence of the pH of the urine changes depending on what you eat or drink. People who have had alcohol would notice that their urine is a darker shade of yellow the next day. So in effect, the only thing that can impact by drinking alkaline water is your urine. Yeah, by drinking this expensive water, all you would end up is getting some expensive pee. There was a small study conducted in a group of 38 individuals in 2010 where they subjected to drinking alkaline water or normal water for four weeks. Finally, when the results were tabulated, the people who had taken alkaline water had shown an increase of alkalinity in their blood and urine. How much? 0 0.10. This is clearly clinically insignificant and won't make any difference to your health anyways. Now there is something that alkaline water may be good for. Acid reflux. This is a chronic disease which occurs when stomach acid or bile flows into the food pipe and irritates the lining. Now when you drink alkaline water, it will reach your stomach where the pH value of the gastric acid is around 2. So by adding a lot of alkaline, you can neutralize some of the acid. And a study done in 2012 has found out that alkaline water can deactivate pepsin the chief digestive enzyme that helps digest proteins in the food that we eat. One point to note is that this study was done in a lab and not on actual human subjects. But anyways, there are cheap medication available to treat acid reflux. They are called antacids. There is no need for alkaline water here too. Now for the claims that it can treat cancer and osteoporosis. The reason why People fall for this miraculous cure for cancer is that some studies have found that tumorous tissues are most often acidic than healthy tissues, which is likely where people got the idea that reducing acidity could cure or prevent cancer. This is yet another typical correlation is not causation claim or the acid ash hypothesis all over again. There was a study done in Finland in 2005 that found out that a lower urine pH did not increase the risk of developing bladder cancer, a cancer that could have been actually been influenced by drinking alkaline water. 
Finally, to osteoporosis, a condition in which bones become weak and brittle and can break. This can happen if the body is unable to get enough calcium or vitamin D that it needs and it tries to take calcium from its own bones. Less calcium means less bone mass. Again, a study done in 2010 found no relation between urine pH and bone mass and meta-analysis have failed to find any connection between bone health and acids excreted by the body. Links to all the studies mentioned in the video and more can be found as links in the description box if you want to have a read. So when you look closely at the health benefits of drinking alkaline water, there is no evidence that it does something which can improve a person's health in a positive way at all. Luckily, there has been no side effects reported at all so far. So if you want to have some expensive pee, then please do go ahead and drink this expensive water. But then again, drinking it all day for a long period of time could end up disrupting your digestive enzymes in the long run and could cause digestive problems over a period of time. So please don't put kakadi and lemon and ginger and tulsi in water and drink it on an empty stomach sitting like a frog tomorrow morning thinking it will cure your cancer or bring down your acid levels. All you will end up is getting some alkaline rich urine that can perhaps clean your toilet better than harpic does. In a country where less than 50% of the population in India have access to safely managed drinking water, drinking this no evidence based alkaline water is nothing but a privileged fad. Listen to science and not Gyani Babas and chemophobic charlatans. I hope you liked this video and learned something new today. For more videos such as this, please head over to the video section of Pale Blue Thoughts where you will find hundreds of such videos. And do subscribe to the channel if you want to listen to more misconceptions being busted right here. Until next time, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.